What are the key factors that contribute to a K-pop group's standout vocal performance? How do K-pop groups address challenges in maintaining consistent vocal performances? In what ways do individual vocal strengths and group dynamics influence the overall vocal quality of a K-pop group, particularly among leading fifth-generation girl groups? EK Cristobal presents Fifth-Generation Girl Groups Analysis and Ranking Disclaimer, this analysis will consist of two parts, an analysis section and a ranking part. The rationale for this approach is to emphasize that ranking should be secondary to the analysis. The criteria dictate that all members' skills, both vocalists and non-vocalists, are taken into consideration. Please note that the analysis is organized according to the order of their debut dates as complete members. Let's begin. Kiss of Life brings a refreshing air to K-pop. Despite not coming from one of the big entertainment companies, Kiss of Life has allured audiences and critics alike. Their rise to fame is an indication to their exceptional talent and the authenticity they bring to every performance. I go by the name of the Elder 21. Let's go. One of the main reasons for their widespread acclaim is their dedication to live singing. In an era where lip syncing is often the norm, Kiss of Life has made it a point to always perform live, showcasing their vocal prowess. They have proven that good live vocals can go hand in hand with complex choreography and high energy performances. But why does live singing matter? Consistently singing live demonstrates an artist's professionalism and dedication to their craft. It shows that they have put in the effort to develop their vocal skills and can deliver high-quality performances without relying on pre-recorded tracks. This commitment to excellence is highly respected by fans and industry professionals alike. This further demonstrates that the performers are skilled musicians and not just manufactured idols. While it's a well-known fact that live singing doesn't always equate to great technical singing skills, however Kiss of Life has Belle, one of the standout vocalists not only in the group, but in the entire fifth generation of K-pop. Bell has demonstrated well-supported voice and some decent singing techniques, particularly around her fourth octave. Additionally, Bell has a compelling tone and can play with her dynamics effectively, adding depth and emotion to her performances. One of Belle's most impressive qualities is her wide vocal range, which enhances versatility that allows her to adapt to different genres with ease. Her upper register also shows great promise, indicating her ability to tackle challenging vocal passages with ease. However, while she can reach the top notes in the fifth octave, there is evident strain, push and tension in her voice. These are natural indications of a singer's technical limitations, suggesting that Belle may need to further improve her technique to handle those notes more comfortably and with less effort. Meanwhile, members like Hanol and Natty may not possess top-tier vocal techniques. But their contributions as vocalists add depth and dimension to the group's sound, enhancing their overall musicality. If you talk, if you talk, that talk, baby. Better walk, better walk, that walk, baby. I am particularly looking forward for Hanol's improvement, as seen in her potential. Even their main rapper, Julie, demonstrates commendable basics in pitch, intonation, and tonal quality, despite singing being her third skill. 
Therefore, Kiss of Life's vocals as a group are exactly what the fifth generation of K-pop needs right now. Eyelid, a group that made a successful debut with their catchy songs, has faced significant backlash for their live singing. Fans and critics alike have pointed out their vocal instability, even during simple songs where they struggle to maintain pitch while standing still, although they sang live in front of the judges during RU Next filming. Pitch correction was added in post-production for the public airing, a common practice in almost every show. Therefore, their skills can only be assessed to a certain extent based on those performances. As they transition to their debut live performances, concerns have started to emerge about the authenticity of their vocals. Minju, Eyelid's best vocalist, has won the hearts of fans with her ear-pleasing vocal tone. Her unique approach to singing, characterized by a stylistic and cursive manner of delivering notes, is what makes her different from the rest. Technically, her foundations around her low to mid ranges are decent enough. However, her vocal abilities are somewhat limited to specific genres and ranges. This limitation means that she may not excel in more technically demanding pieces or genres. Other vocalists, such as Yuna and Woni, bring distinctive qualities to the vocal line that enrich the group's overall sound. Yuna's chestier approach. <laughs> Along with Woni's brighter vocal tone. offers a pleasing contrast that enhances the group's harmonic balance. Together, these contrasting styles complement each other, adding layers of texture and complexity to the group's performances. The remaining members, Mocha and Iroha, require further vocal training. Their current vocal foundations are notably weak, which is evident in their pitch instability and lack of control. Pitch, being a fundamental aspect of singing, needs to be consistently accurate to ensure harmonious and pleasing performances. For Mocha and Iroha to improve, they must focus on strengthening their basic vocal techniques. This includes exercises to improve pitch accuracy, breath control, and vocal support. While Eyelit may not be a vocal-centered group, this should not deter them from striving for vocal excellence. Continuous improvement in their singing can lead to more polished and professional performances. It can also provide individual members with the confidence to take on more challenging vocal parts and showcase their growth as artists. If you'd like to watch our discussion on the vocal challenges of high-produced girl groups, you can view the video linked in the description. Eunice, while talented overall, cannot honestly be described as having the powerhouse vocals of this generation, unfortunately. Meanwhile, one notable aspect of their approach is that most of the members' parts in a song are within their comfortable ranges. This technique effectively minimizes the exposure of their vocal limitations and allows them to deliver performances that are pleasing to the ear, maintaining a consistent quality by avoiding the strain that can come from attempting more demanding vocal feats. When the members stay within their comfort zones, the overall sound in the group is harmonious and enjoyable, however, a deeper analysis reveals that only four out of the eight members exhibit what can be considered decent vocal abilities by the group's standards. These members provide a solid foundation for the group's musical identity, conversely, the remaining members, while not without talent, require further development technically. Their current vocal capabilities highlight the need for continuous improvement and training, such as Katoko and Nana. Enhancing their vocal skills would not only elevate the group's overall performance, but also provide more flexibility in musical arrangements and song choices. So one, one of Eunice's main vocalists, has a background as a trot singer which possibly influences certain aspects of her idol singing, particularly in her pronunciation, pitch, and pure sound. <laughs> Her lows are generally decent. However, as she ventures on higher notes, her voice becomes light, thin, and somewhat nasal. Hey. 
This indicates that her vocal techniques within the K-pop industry are still developing and not yet fully refined. I must say, so one has not yet reached her full potential. Elysia, the other main vocalist of Eunice, excels within her comfort range. She has a soothing voice that she controls well, demonstrating the ability to play with dynamics and transitions effectively. Other vocalists such as Jelly and Yunha also contribute significantly to their vocal line. But what's disappointing is that while Jelly remains technically better than half of her members, her lines are too short for her to showcase it. You walk me to the door, send me home crying, it's one step forward. No, it's back and forth, did I say something wrong? Everywhere I go with them head on me on body get be at the Nonetheless, as they continue to train and develop their skills, I am hoping that they can achieve richer, fuller sounds, and more refined techniques, that can ultimately elevate the vocal quality of Eunice as a whole. Explore the newest trends in K-pop and K-drama fashion with Fashion Chingu, the global brand adored by fans everywhere. Whether you seek iconic stage ensembles or chic daily attire, Fashion Chingu has all your needs met. Benefit from complimentary worldwide shipping on orders exceeding 60 US dollars, allowing you to flaunt your beloved K-pop and K-drama styles regardless of location. Elevate your fashion game with Fashion Chingu and unleash your inner star. Start shopping today. Link in the description. Baby Monster, the newest girl group under YG Entertainment, has garnered significant attention and admiration for its commitment to live singing. They stand out by ensuring that their voices are prominently heard over any backtrack, showcasing their confidence and authenticity as idols who can sing. This commitment to live vocals serves as solid evidence of their extensive training in the YG Entertainment basement and the high standards set by the company. Personally, watching artists sing live is more engaging and entertaining. It adds an element of unpredictability and excitement to the performance. Fans enjoy the uniqueness of each live show, where slight variations in spontaneity make each experience special that pre-recorded tracks cannot replicate. Each Baby Monster member brings their unique strengths to the table, contributing to a rich and diverse vocal palette. This diversity in vocal tones and styles adds depth to their music, making their performances more engaging and multifaceted. Despite being relatively new and still honing their craft, Baby Monster's vocals as a group are already being hailed as the top of their generation so far. Five out of seven members comprise the vocal line of the group, with Rami standing out as the most technically proficient. Rami, along with the other vocalist, Rora have showcased individual strengths and solid vocal foundations. Rami's standout qualities include her YG style tone, mid range prowess, dynamic control, agility, and comfortable upper register. <laughs> On the other hand, Rora shines in the third octave, excels in the lower register, and exhibits decent vocal control. It is unfortunate that despite Rora's evident skills and potential, YG does not seem to be utilizing her for main vocal parts. Nevertheless, both Rami and Rora complement each other's strengths perfectly, forming a formidable duo within the group's vocal lineup. As for Ayon, her being given belt sections is because she has a naturally high tessitura making her well-suited for such parts. While she is capable of hitting and holding notes in the fifth octave, 
there are concerns about her vocal technique not being fully refined. This has led to strain on her vocals, which could potentially be damaging in the long term. Nonetheless, Ayan has the vocal foundation, and her confidence greatly contributes to her vocal prowess. Confidence can greatly enhance a vocalist's ability to connect with the audience and deliver a compelling performance. This has been proven with her hit cover Dangerously in her pre-debut era. I love you, I love you, I love you, love you dangerously. Where it crossed multiple charts, other artists to also cover, and above all, the original singer, Charlie Puth, gifting their group a song as a sign of his gratitude. Furthermore, Chiquita and Farida, two other vocalists, contribute to the group's vocal line with their sweet and soft tones. Notably, Chiquita has been consistently showing improvements since pre-debut despite only being 15. However, it is evident that all five members, Rami, Rora, Ayan, Chiquita, and Farida, have not yet reached their full vocal technique potential. At times, their singing can exhibit shallowness, nasality, and a focus on style over technique. Therefore, I only hope for YG to continue giving them the right vocal lessons and utilize them in the most vocal way that would showcase their strengths. If you'd like to watch our analysis of the evolution of vocal standards in K-pop idols, featuring the big four labels, you can watch this video. The link is in the description. Triple S, a formidable ensemble with 24 members, stands out in the K-pop industry due to its number of members. While they have multiple subunits that can showcase their strengths, let's focus on them as a whole group for now. The sheer number of members in Triple S naturally results in a broad spectrum of vocal colors. Each member brings unique tonal qualities, ranges, and styles. Different voices contribute layers of texture and complexity to the music, making Triple S's sound more dynamic. However, while their collective performance is commendable, a closer look reveals that only a small fraction of the members exhibits decent technical potential. Technically, not more than 25% of the members have shown notable potential in their vocal techniques. These members stand out with their ability to support their voices, control their breath, and deliver polished performances more effectively. They bring a level of professionalism and skill that elevates the group's overall sound. With that being said, the majority of Triple S's members are still in the developmental stages of their vocal journey. Individually, many lack the refined technique necessary to excel in more demanding musical pieces. This underdevelopment is apparent in live performances, where some members struggle with stability, pitch control, and breath support. While the group's collective sound remains decent, these individual weaknesses can often affect the overall performance quality. Dayan, who stands out not only within her group, but also among her peers in the fifth generation makes her an indispensable part of Triple S. One of the key aspects of Dayan's vocal ability is her clear foundation and support around the fourth octave. She has the grasp to use breath control and diaphragm engagement effectively to sustain notes with stability and strength. As a member of a large group, her powerful and stable vocals provide a backbone that supports and elevates the group's overall sound. <laughs> Members such as Jiwoo, Xion, and So Hyun. Also make significant contributions to Triple S's vocal line technically, each bringing their unique qualities and strengths to the group. As Triple S continues to evolve and grow, their vocal lineup will undoubtedly remain a cornerstone of their success, fascinating audiences with their powerful and emotive performances. Eyelid is ranked last on this list primarily due to their weaker vocal cohesion as a group. While Minju's skills are commendable, her technical limitations become apparent when compared to the other strongest vocalists in this lineup. Additionally, there seems to be a struggle with mastering the basics of singing among the other members, which impacts their overall group performance.
Elysia and So One are both standout vocalists, and they are individually and collectively stronger than Minju. This gives Eunice a significant edge in terms of top-tier vocal talent within the group's parameters, in short, they're top vocalists. Moreover, the duo of Jelly and Yunha is stronger than Eilat's Yuna and Wo Ni, adding another advantage for Eunice. Both groups have two underdeveloped vocalists, so this factor does not contribute to a significant difference in their overall vocal strength. Therefore, Eunice holds a clear advantage in terms of vocal talent. As mentioned in the analysis, 75% of Triple S's members have not shown notable potential with their vocal technique, making them the non-vocalist members whose contributions lie in other aspects. The remaining 25%, meanwhile, have demonstrated notable skills, which technically make them part of the vocal line. While Dayan may be a very strong vocalist and could even be the top individually on this list, she and her fellow vocalists cannot carry the three-fourth non-vocalist members. Note that for this video, we are considering every member's skills. Triple S is not just a huge group, but a massive one, so it makes sense that many members excel in other aspects. Therefore, as a group, they are in the middle of this ranking. <laughs> Belle from Kiss of Life and Dayan from Triple S are both strong individual vocalists, competing for the title of the best vocalist among the groups on this list. While there is a technical gap between Bell and the other three members, none of the members are underdeveloped. This means that, as a group, they perform well overall, with no significant issues even with the basics of singing. The balanced skill level among all members of Kiss of Life makes them stronger as a group compared to Triple S, where the significant number of non-vocalist members weakens their overall group vocal strength. While Baby Monster's best vocalist, Rami, may rank below Triple S's Dayan and Kiss of Life's Bell, Baby Monster stands out as the strongest vocal group on this list due to its well-balanced skill level among members. Compared to Triple S, Baby Monster has at least 85% of its members who are not vocally underdeveloped, indicating a higher proportion of adequate vocal skills and overall strength, similarly, when compared to Kiss of Life, where there are no underdeveloped members but a significant gap between Bell and the others, Baby Monster gains an edge. In Baby Monster, members such as Chiquita and Ayan do not have the same level of significant gap with their strongest vocalists, Rami and Rora, unlike Natty and Hanol to Bell. Even Farida's vocal skills are on par with Kiss of Life's less prominent vocalists. This disparity in skill levels weakens Kiss of Life's overall strength, unlike Baby Monster, where members are closer in skill, creating a more cohesive and balanced vocal performance, the balance in vocal abilities and strong group cohesion make Baby Monster the strongest vocally on this list. In fact, Baby Monster is the strongest vocal group among fifth-generation female groups so far. Now that we're in the fifth generation of K-pop, it's great to see that even in its early stages, we already have standout vocal girl groups like Baby Monster and Kiss of Life. We are hopeful that we'll see even more groups that can bring recognition to this new generation, especially with SM Entertainment's upcoming girl group this year. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.